Let's talk about succession and pioneer species. And this is what the syllabus objective says. You need to be able to explain the concept of ecological succession. You need to be able to differentiate between the two modes of succession, primary and secondary. And then also with pioneer species, you need to be able to identify the features that make good pioneer species to be able to effectively colonize. So let's get into it then. Ecological succession is basically a change in the species composition of an ecological community over time, so a long period of time, and it results from a change in the abiotic conditions by the species before. In other words, the species improves the conditions for the species that come after it. So succession is, I guess, a continued maturity of an ecosystem until we get a mature, stable, climax community. Primary succession is where we start with bare rock. There's never been life on that particular land and there's, um, there's no soil. So it's starting from bare rock, no soil, no previous life. So the first step is colonization uh, and that's when you have a pioneer species. A uh, great example of that is moss or lichen that can adhere to the rock and they actually release uh, an, an acid that helps actually break down that rock to start to form a little bit of soil. When the lichen and the moss die, they get decomposed and produce or and, and return nutrients into that soil to improve the quality of the soil. So then after that, we then get grass seeds that get dispersed by the wind or by birds and things and and they land in these small cracks where there's a little bit of soil. So now we've got cracks in the rocks with a little bit of soil and grasses. These cracks get bigger through uh, the production of roots, through expansion and contraction, through heat and cold for the temperature, and through running water. So now we've got more soil that can support larger, uh, larger shrubs. And with this we get um, animal life move into the area. And then it continues on through a number of cycles of these process until we get more mature plant life, more mature trees, and we get to a stable climax community. So for, to, for a pioneering species, they need, to, they need to have certain characteristics to make them effective colonizers. They need to be able to improve their abiotic conditions. So fixating nitrogen is really important. We're going to take nitrogen from the from the air and fix it as nitrates in the soil is a really important way to improve uh, the soil. They need to be able to tolerate really extreme abiotic conditions. They need to be able to rapidly germinate, germinate rapidly produce a lot of biomass, and then they they die out because they get replaced by new species. So thinking. Um, our selected species would be absolutely ideal for this uh, and they also need to be able to photosynthesize because they need to be able to increase the biomass in the area so pioneering species I can do those things okay so one of the things that the syllabus objective requires you to know is what um, a SARE is and basically a SARE is an intermediate community found along that process of elite ecological succession so each of these stages um, has specific abiotic and biotic conditions, and each of those is called a SARE. Sarah. 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 And we know we've reached a climax community when it's relatively stable. It's stable in terms of the amount of biomass, and stable in terms of the composition. So we normally have a dominant plant species, or several dominant plant species, which are generally the larger trees. Now, secondary succession, this occurs when there has been life before. There's been a community and that was wiped out, perhaps from bushfire or maybe a landslide, something like that. So the colonizers at this time and often grasses and weeds still are selected species that are, you know, that they're probably their seeds get dispersed into the area through, through the wind. They get in and germinate and grow really quickly, helps hold the soil together and improve the soil.